How to design an online coffee order system? Hello friends, today we will be working on a system design where we will be designing an online coffee order system. So if you think the design can be better, if better you we can add some more additional details. Feel free to add your comments. So here's a problem statement. We are getting tons of coffee orders. Uh, we are getting around 10K messages per second, 10,000 messages per second. So message has to be priority. Some coffee orders would be urgent. Some could be medium, low. So some coffee orders could be 30 minutes. And the order could be different. There could be a coffee order for latte, mocha, or regular coffee. So we have to build a system to make sure all the messages uh, processing status are logged. We have to collect metrics on the, all the stages so we can improve the uh, look for imp performance improvement. And we have to make sure we should not lose any order. Any order lost is money lost. So our system should be able to handle no loss of any message. So let's go to the, let's uh, design the system now. So here is uh, like we get a coffee order. Uh, we will, uh, we receive a coffee order. We'll store all the coffee, me coffee orders in the message queue. Since our message length is less than 2K, so the message, uh, this is more Microsoft technology implementation, but message queue, when we talk about message queue, that is high level. This system design could be designed for Java also. We have to make sure we are using the right queue, queue service like JMS, which allows us to prioritize the messages. So once we got the message, we will be processing all the orders started by priority and this will set the message status to validating and will record the current time. So all the invalid messages, there's a message which our system couldn't understand. So we should be sending to some a team who can call the customer and find out the details of the order so that we don't lose the order, we don't lose the business. So we have to then then we have to process high priority orders first. Make uh, then make sure the latte coffee goes to the person who is making latte coffee. If it is regular coffee, the it should go to the person who is making regular coffee. They could be uh, as we see in the Starbucks uh, or any other coffee center. The queue for special coffee orders latte is different, but the queue for regular coffee is instantly different. So once the order is finished, we need to set the status to finish and we can have a database where we store the processed orders. And here we'll, we'll have a locking service which is logging everywhere the status. We you should be using event sourcing pattern because uh, we need to record what was the status of the order each every time. And finally we can use a data warehouse to push all the data to the data data warehouse from message queue, logging and process of processed order repository so that analytics team can can uh, see the different metrics, see how what is the what is the total time taken by the time we took out the order and the order was processed so that we can come up with some improvements in our processes, we can improve our services, time time taken to finish the order can be improved. So what are the what so what, what are the important things about our design? So what are the design highlights? We need to use some message queue. It could be Microsoft MSM queue or Java GMS. We need to use event sourcing pattern. So I have a lot of videos on, on the event sourcing pattern, microservices architecture, CQRS, do check that out. 
So we need to have event sourcing patterns so that we log the status of order every step and so if our system goes down we have enough information to start the processing again we should not be going back to the customer we need to follow microservices architecture uh, to to make sure we can deploy our applications on the cloud to handle the high volume of messages we can have a logging services there it uh, ties to event sourcing that every uh, all the status of the order is recorded uh, command query response uh, command query response pan, uh, response response pattern can really help in this one so basically in this pattern the insert commands are written by different component and query commands are written by different components uh, there's a video video so you can check out that video and finally we, we we in our system we designed a data warehouse for analytics to come up with different metrics to improve the service and our system does uh, validate whether it's high priority or low priority messages so if you think the system can be made better we can add improvements uh, add your comments to this video thanks for watching this video thank you everyone for watching my video my name is Bikas Kenny I have more than 20 years of experience in IT industry I am Togab certified architect do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates thank you